Hello everyone! In this video, I will teach you how to install DTX Mini NX and how you could use it with your eDrum kit. If this video has helped you, please click the like button and for more tutorials and rhythm gameplay videos, please press the subscribe button. Thanks in advance. Okay, I will assume that you're using a standard eDrum setup which includes a hi-hat, snare, high tom, low tom, floor tom, left cymbal, right cymbal, hi-hat pedal, and bass kick. For this demonstration, I am using a newly installed Windows 10 Pro 64-bit and I am using a DT Explorer as my drum module. Let's proceed with the things you need. Your recent PC or laptop will pass the requirements for DTX Mania. For the operating system, Windows 10 will be required. Second, any electronic drum kit with MIDI support. Check your drum module and see what kind of USB port it has. Usually, eDrum kits are using USB Type-B port, so you have to buy a USB Type-B cable. Next, for the files, you need DTX Mini NX Furicon Starter Pack, Direct Show SDK, and the latest version of K-Lite Codec Basic Pack. The links are provided in the description below. Also, make sure you have downloaded the drivers for your eDrum kit before proceeding. Okay, so let's get started. Download DTX Main NX FSP and Direct Show SDK. Then download the latest version of K-Lite Codec Basic Pack. Just select any server from this list. Then extract all files. Now go to Direct Show SDK folder, then run Win SDK Setup. Ensure all items are checked, then press install. After installation, press close. Next, install the K-Lite codec pack by running the installation file. After installation, this ensures that DTX menu will play the movies for SIM files which includes them. Now we go to the DTX menu NX FSP folder and then we open the config.ini file. Within the text file, you will see card name with Furukon. Just change it to any name that we want with a maximum of 13 characters. Just below it is the group name and you can also change it to any name you want with a maximum of 22 characters. Save the file and then close. Now, open your eDrum kit, then run DTX Mania GR. Always open your eDrum kit first before running DTX Mania or it won't be detected. If you get this error, just install DirectX. Just go to the DirectX Resist folder and run DX Setup. Okay, so this is DTX Mania NX. I will now map my eDrum kit to make sure that every pad will respond properly with DTX Mania. If you want an in-depth tutorial of mapping each pad, please refer to this tutorial, how to map your pads in DTX Mania. Now, go to Game Start by pressing Enter, then here in the Furukon folder, choose the eDrum test and press Enter to run. Within the first few seconds, you will see a movie playing. This movie should play, and if you run DTX Mania without installing Wind SDK setup or the K-Lite codec pack, then the movie will not show up. Now, I will test the pads one by one, starting with the hi-hat, snare, high tom, low tom, floor tom, right cymbal, left cymbal, bass kick, and the left pedal. The starter pack also includes a song and you can test your e-drum kit with it. <laughs> 